Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Today is day two in our Bible app plan called Abba, Father, Hear My Prayer, Draw Me Close. We're going through the Psalms, and so let's just jump in. Today, we're going to start with Psalm 100, and it says this, Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Psalm 104, let all that I am praise the Lord. O Lord, my God, how great you are. You are robed with honor and majesty. You are dressed in a robe of light. You stretched out the starry curtains of the heavens. You lay out the rafters of your home and the rain clouds. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride upon the wings of the wind. The winds are your messengers. Flames of fire are your servants. You place the world on its foundation so it would never be moved. You clothed the earth with floods of water, water that covered even the mountains. At your command, the water fled. At the sound of your thunder, it hurried away. Mountains rose and valleys sank to the levels you decreed. Then you set a firm boundary for the seas so that they would never again cover the earth. You make springs pour into the ravines, so streams gush down from the mountains. They provide water for all of the animals, and the wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds nest beside the streams and sing among the branches of the trees. You send rain on the mountains from your heavenly home, and you fill the earth with the fruit of your labor. You cause grass to grow for the livestock and plants for people to use. You allow them to produce food from the earth, wine to make them glad, olive oil to soothe their skin, and bread to give them strength. The trees of the Lord are well cared for, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There the birds make their nests, and the storks make their homes in the cypresses. High in the mountains live the wild goats, and the rocks form a refuge. You made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to set. You send the darkness, and it becomes night, when all the forest animals prowl about. Then the young lion roar for their prey, stalking their food provided by God. At dawn, they slink back into their dens to rest. Then people go off to do their work, where they labor until evening. O Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the ocean, vast and wide, teeming with life of every kind, both large and small. See the ships sailing along, which you made to play in the sea. They all depend on you to give them food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open their hand to feed them, and they are richly satisfied. But if you turn away from them, they panic. When you take away their breath, they die and turn again to dust. When you give them your breath, life is created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. The Lord takes pleasure in all he has made. The earth trembles at his glance. The mountains smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God to my last breath. May all my thoughts be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let all sinners vanish from the face of the earth. Let the wicked disappear forever. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The devotional prayer says this, if you want to join me. Abba, Father, I long to be a vessel of your glory and for your glory. I long to walk with you step by step, moment by moment each day. Transform my heart, my mind, my soul, all of me. Thank you for the body you have given me, for the energy and purpose. 
for hands, eyes, ears, and senses to enjoy you and your creation. Thank you for the ability to serve you and others. Thank you as well for providing for my daily need and support. Thank you for a full table, an overflowing cup, for appetite, taste, and sweetness. Thank you especially for the relationships of family and friends, and most of all for my relationship with you. Your overwhelming kindness and continual good gifts to me draw my heart to love you. Fill me with your spirit. Guide me by your hand. Draw me closer than ever. I want to love you more and more, even beyond my ability to comprehend. Increase my love for you and for others. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, God. Well, now is the perfect time to break out the worship music, the journal, and continue pressing into the Lord. Don't forget that you are God's masterpiece, that we love you, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Aloha!